When we ask the question about Cam Newton, we have sat here, how many times have we sat here year after year and just literally said, you know what? Cam Newton's great. And that's that. But Carolina, missing the playoffs, his health is a question mark, their offensive line is horrid, running games questionable. There's Not been anymore. a lot of questions about the Carolina Panthers. Not anymore. They got a, they have, they got a running back now who can also catch well, passes. He, catches passes out he doesn't run between the McCaffrey. tackles like, like right. uh, Ezekiel Elliott, but he's <clears throat> white, white good. Well, I only he's, brought it up because he's a Cam star runs run. through the tackles. So Look, go ahead. Cam Newton was having a very good season until he hurt his shoulder. And then the Panthers foolishly let him play with, a, with you know, with, we, we, he, he shouldn't have been playing. Mm -hmm. Just as the Colts weren't protecting Andrew Luck, he didn't have a running game, and they foolishly let him play hurt. Then he had to take a year off. Then he came back this year, had a great season, won a playoff game. Mm -hmm. Cam Newton, not that long ago, was voted by his peers the That's number good. one player in football. And he's not physically really past his prime. And his passing early in the season was quite good. You do not move on from Cam Newton. But Tepper is exactly right. You may have to rest him for a full season to get your quarterback back. That they may have to do, so they may be looking for a one-season quarterback. But if you have a healthy Cam Newton, you know how many teams are looking for quarterbacks? The Panthers shouldn't be one. First of all, I'm kind of shocked that he even brought this up. Usually with a lot of teams, they would never disclose, like, the severity of an injury. The fact that he brought up the, that Cam Newton could possibly sit for a whole entire season, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm shocked by that. You think but that's the, a rookie mistake? I think he's a new he's owner. He's a new owner, and I think um, – I don't think you usually disclose things like that, but I think w as far as Cam Newton is concerned, this is the accumulation of the t of the the way the Carolina Panthers have used him over the years, and now the Roosters are coming to come to you know chickens coming to chickens coming to roost. roost. That's correct. The, the, roosters the may be involved too. I don't. Know. A, 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 listen, they designed they designed that Carolina Panthers offense mm -hmm. kind of like what they did at Auburn. Cam Newton was just th this type of athlete. We hadn't, really, we hadn't really seen coming into the National Football League, so they designed it as such. But when you have something like that, when you're exposing your quarterback the way that the Carolina Panthers have, mm -hmm. this is the type of stuff that's happened. Now, I'll give credit to North Turner, the offensive coordinator, in getting Cam Newton up to par as far as being a passer. He's had the best completion percentage of his career. Mm -hmm. What the Carolina Panthers need to do moving forward, if it's rest, absolutely, because Cam Newton is your franchise quarterback moving forward. But what they need to do is they have to pivot and transition. I think North Turner started doing that this year. Tri uh, pivot and transition to Cam the pocket passer. You can no longer well, you can no longer keep exposing well, that, Cam that, Newton to the type of hits that he's been having. That's his where own I was career. going. And and Max, I'm not disagreeing with you. Please don't get me wrong, because I get where you're coming from, and you're totally correct in that. What I'm saying is this: Cam Newton. First of all, they were six and two. They go into Pittsburgh. They get blitz 52-21. That's the game Cam Newton got hurt when T.J. Watt put that head on his shoulder, and he's never been the same since then. We get all that. This is the second soldier surgery that he's scheduled for in the last year, so since 2017. I'm looking at a Cam Newton, and I'm seeing all the heroics, all the athletic ability. This guy said, "Don't take." the cape off of Superman. Let me play my game. So he wants to run the football. What he doesn't want to do is just stand back there and fling that football. And what I'm saying is when he does that, those passes that he's throwing, that completion percentage that was never over 60% for the first seven years of his career, that's not a coincidence and that's not an accident to me. I don't think you'll ever find a more athletic quarterback than Cam Newton. He's one of the elite we've ever seen. What I'm saying is you got to have somebody, you know, on your roster that can challenge this man so he can do... Well, bringing in some it. competition to get him to be more of a passer. That's now, where I'm listen, going. Listen, this, is the, question where about, I'm this going. is the question we really have about Cam. Because there are two, you can, this can go one of two ways. You have a big, athletic, mm -hmm. big-armed quarterback mm -hmm. who's not a great pocket passer. Right. On the one hand, you might think... Well, he has something to evolve into. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a nice long career because the guy who's a pocket passer, he has nowhere to go. It's not like he can downshift into anything, right? The other way to look at it is once you take what makes him special mm -hmm. away from Cam Newton, now how good is he really going to be? My guess about Cam is he's going to develop into a good pocket passer based on what I saw early and in my, the season. And my only response to that is Cam Newton is in his eighth year in the National Football League, and let's call it what he is. He's not a great passer. He's just not a great passer. Right, but now, he can ball. 
He's a big time athlete, but he is not a great if passer. If you say guys eighth open, year, it kind of makes him sound old, but he's only 29. I know. And I think you're you're I'm talking about eight, yes. teaching an old dog but you know, new, but, new but tricks. Here, but like, we're saying. seeing guys he's 20, like Brady he's playing into their 40s. Well, but here's the difference. He's, he's 29, 29, but the amount of hits that Cam Newton has yeah, taken throughout his career. I mean, he's no probably, one's probably taking he's probably, more. Yeah. He's he's older like for than example, what a 29. By the way, you know what? You know what's a, you know what's a misnomer? The number. He only got sacked 29 times this past season. Let me tell you something. Do you know the reason why that don't matter? Because that don't negate the fact that he's getting hit so much because he's running the football a lot. And a lot of times, even he's avoiding a sack situation and running for yardage. He's moving forward. He's gained three or four yards. They don't count that as a sack. But guess what? It's almost the equivalent of yeah. a sack because you're still getting hit. No. And that's what he's going no, through. You're, you're right. Uh, so who do they bring in? Who do they bring in to compete you if he's Nick, sitting for a year? Me personally, it would be Ryan Fitzpatrick. Here's why. Nick Foles' long-term deal. Joe Flacco's probably going to get a multi-year deal from somebody. You know, those are two of the guys that are available at the Teddy very Bridgewater's least. Teddy Bridgewater's interesting when I'm looking Teddy at that Teddy Bridgewater right there. could be interesting. Absolutely. I forgot his name. But I would say Ryan Fitzpatrick because I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is experienced at going someplace for a year and then moving on when I look at more that, so than the others. When I look at those names, Nick Foles is going to have his own team, right? Yeah. He's going to be the quarterback. I think I think Teddy Bridgewater is another guy who's seen as a guy who can be a franchise quarterback mm -hmm. if he can stay healthy That's right. and, and really get the chance. I do not think the league looks at Ryan Fitzpatrick or Tyrod Taylor say Ryan as real starting quarterbacks. That's why I say that, because even assuming that Cam Newton's going to end up missing any games or, dare we say, missing out like Tepper alluded to, you can go, you can tell Ryan Fitzpatrick, come in here for this year, because this is still going to be Cam Newton's team once he returns from from his injury. You can do that with Ron Fitzpatrick. I think you're gonna have a difficult time doing that with all the all the others.